SSG-120 is a joint Nordic program developing a 120mm armoured mortar system for the future combat environment. The focus is on meeting interoperability and net-centric warfare requirements. The active partners are Sweden and Finland, with Norway and Denmark as observers. The Swedish project organizations made up of teams from the Armed Forces and the Swedish Defence Material Administration, with Swedish and Finnish contractors jointly designing the carrier and turret. Initially, the armed forces have opted for a carrier from the Combat Vehicle 90 family of vehicles, a successful concept with a great deal of built-in know-how gathered when developing the earlier system. Its military name is Mortar Combat Vehicle MCV 90120. The mortar turret contains everything required for fire emission and is adapted for carriers both on land and at sea. The project teams are working on such questions as the system's final key capabilities and tactics in parallel with practical tests. The test vehicle is manned by four soldiers, a commander, a gunner, a loader and a driver. The commander and gunner sit in the turret. The commander directs operations on board and communicates with other units within the battalion. The gunner aims and fires the mortars with the help of an advanced command and fire control system. At the rear of the vehicle, the loader handles the ammunition within close reach. The driver sits at the very front of the vehicle. The SSG-120 can use existing mortar ammunition, but new types of ammunition are in the process of being developed. In all, about 80 rounds are carried, some of them in the turret magazine. The resupply of ammunition takes less than 15 minutes. The SSG-120 can fire different types of ammunition at several types of targets. A precision-guided munitions with the capability to combat main battle tanks is a vital component of the system. With its tactical mobility and firepower, the vehicle meets the modern battlefield requirements for indirect fire support. The plan is to incorporate four vehicles per armoured battalion. They'll normally operate two by two and are adapted for both national and international operations. The vehicles are equipped with an advanced navigation system for positioning and have full night vision capability. The MCV-9120 is commanded by a battlefield management system. A display shows the commander, the battalion's unit's positions and how combat's progressing. The fire control system receives target positions digitally from other units in the battalion and automatically calculates how the barrel should be aimed. The targets presented graphically on a digital map after which the barrels are automatically aligned. The gunner informs the loader of the requested ammunition type. The commander checks target data and gives the firing order. The first four rounds can be launched within five seconds. MRSI, multiple rounds simultaneous impact, involving multiple firing of rounds with different charges and elevations for simultaneous impact, can be affected with up to 14 rounds. The system has a range of about 10 kilometers and a maximum rate of fire of 20 rounds a minute.
The MCV-9120 is already showing great potential and will meet the armed forces' need for improved indirect fire support capability, both in national and international operations. It will be fielded by the armed forces' maneuver battalions during 2008.